Hello people, what's up? How you doing? So, this is my final vlog, my seventh challenge. For this challenge, I did it under the theme culture. And I basically did it on a new culture that has been arising with the, the role of cyberspace and uh, social media platforms and uh, programs that have come to rise with the web, like Facebook, Twitter, um, and ins and Instagram. And basically, it's all about this new culture that mainly affects young adults and teenagers, but it's slowly affecting most of the populace who have any social media accounts. And it's basically about the obsession of followers and likes and being accepted on cyberspace or on any of the social media platforms, having to feel like you need to be accepted. And it's, yeah, it's this culture of people, instead of just communicating with people with what the uh, social media apps are there for, it's more become a thing of, um, look how many likes I just got on my last post. Uh, look how many followers I have on Instagram. Look how many likes I just got a lot, uh, on my inst a new Instagram photo that I just put up. And it's all about this obsession with likes and followers and how that determines your value in real life. If you're cool in society if you have 2,000 likes on photos because everyone wants to like your photo because you're just so cool. But really, is it? Does cyberspace and our online profile really determine who we are as a person and our values as a person, our morals? More and more people are getting distracted with what's important in life. And social media has gone from this awesome communicating tool to an obsession over likes and comments and friends and followers. Nowadays, people will send you a friend invite, but you hardly ever speak to them. It's just so that they can check what's going on in your life or just so they can see, say, show that you, they've, they've got you as a friend on Facebook or follow you but do you really speak to those people I know I'm a culprit of this I have many friends on Facebook that I actually shouldn't be friends with because I'd hardly ever see them or speak to them so it's this whole culture of I've got more likes than you I've got more followers as in people are more interested in your life than than in my life than yours kind of thing when it's really not that important and the role the reasoning behind why social media is there now is starting to get blurred what is social media there now for do you just use it to show off who you are and your fashion and your new accessories and how many likes you get and or is it actually a tool to communicate with your friends and keep in touch I understand there are some things that are fair enough you can put on Facebook or on Instagram you can share with people your friends but there are some things that are just irrelevant and you don't need to put up it becomes a case of just showing off or just trying to act cool and it's this whole culture of like I look better than you check my profile picture check my cover photo does that really count does it really matter I started to question my own use on Facebook and Instagram Instagram I enjoy because I love taking photos as do most people 
and I can put them up and edit them and filter them and for other people to see. But I don't obsess over how many likes I get on each photo. I don't try and follow and then unfollow people so they can try to see me, my profile, and then hopefully follow me back just so I can get more likes. What's the point of getting more likes? Unless you're some photographer or an agency or any company that needs marketing or needs to be put out there, why are you obsessing over likes? Likes in real world mean nothing absolutely squat so basically if you had to strip away social media who are you really where are your friends what is really important and that's what I've been trying to get through with this challenge so what I did for this challenge was I just wrote just like quotes and stuff on my arm like hashtag stuff like I've got more followers than you like hashtag a thousand likes or whatever just that kind of obsession over social media stuff. And although it doesn't really make me feel uncomfortable, it's a topic that I get annoyed and uncomfortable about when um, people obsess over things, over over online profiles and, and try and get as many likes and stuff as possible. And they go, oh, yeah, I got, I got a thousand likes, I got 200 likes on Instagram. When really, is it that important? Whether you get 2 likes or 5 likes, or 2,000 likes, or a million likes, doesn't make you a better person. So that's the, that's the point I've been trying to get across with this challenge. It's more the awareness and the thought of how we obsess over social media and how we've come to obsess and we've sort of slowly grown into it and we don't even realize it slowly roped us in there's whole conversations that happen online that if you weren't didn't even didn't have a Facebook account you wouldn't know about or an Instagram account but then again is it really important understand that being linked in with the world and understanding what's going around the world is important but obsessing over likes and how many people and friends you have on these cyberspace profiles who don't really represent the true you, does that, is that really important? No, it's not. So that was my final challenge. And it's something that I get annoyed about when people talk about how many likes or followers they have and I end up just going like well cool stuff that's great for you but I really don't care like if you if that's all you obsess about then you need to delete your social media or do something because then you're not living you're obsessing over the next like or follow that you get or how many likes you get on the next post and worry that people might judge you if you don't get more than 300 likes. Don't get roped in. So that was my final challenge. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope it was insightful. And uh, thank you for watching if you have watched all my vlogs. This is my final one. It's been a, quite a journey. Uh, quite a few experiences. Yeah. So, that's me. I'm out.